On this day, there is no such thing as partisanship. Once every two years, U.S. lawmakers come together on a football field for a charity congressional football game against the U.S. Capitol Police team. Oh, I mean, we're here to win. Yeah, but uh, we're going to have fun while we're doing it. By mutual agreement, politics stays on the sidelines, even though this year's match took place just hours after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced that House Democrats were moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry into U.S. President Donald Trump. This annual match first took place in 2005 when lawmakers team Mean Machine and the Capitol Police, or the Guards, hit the gridiron to support the families of two slain police officers. Both acting and former lawmakers take part in the game together with former NFL professionals. There was a lot on the line. Congress has not won on this field since 2009, and the Capitol Police want to keep their streak going. The uh, second game now, I'm kind of used to a little more, but it's definitely a physical game out there. It raises good, uh, good money for some good charities, have police funds, military funds. Um, you know, it's a, it's a big environment. It's becoming a bigger event. At halftime, Congress is up eight points to four, and even a day of political turmoil could not spoil the mood. I, I was let down today what happened. I thought it was wrong. But in the end, we got to work together where we can. And I think we got to get past this hate and vitriol because our country needs the two parties to work together. Democrat Tom Malinowski, despite supporting the impeachment idea, also voiced hope that lawmakers will find common ground and work together. But we get we get some bipartisan work done, and these things help because we get to know each other better. We become friends. It's easier to find common ground on the other issues. The result of such dedicated teamwork was evident. Lawmakers won with 14 to 4. The funds raised during the game will be passed on to the families of policemen who die on duty, children of the military and low-income families. Daria D. Goods for VOA News, Washington.